Hey guys, Jerry here and welcome back to Fallout. Last time we finally delivered the mortar chip, so now we're absolutely free to do whatever we want without any sort of time constraints. And since we're back in the hub, what I really want to do is actually go over to this section here and see if we can now kill those bastards who kept trying to kill me inside that house. So... Yeah, it might seem a bit petty, but on the other hand, um, they did kinda ruin my day. Let's go for this. And let's just reload. I also sold some of my loot and actually ended up getting a couple of books because, well, the guy couldn't really afford otherwise. So let's just quickly read those. And let's see, we need to reload this thing. So, a bit of ammo in there. Quick save and down here and have a look. Two hit points. Well shot, sir. I think this is the guy who's actually doing a lot of damage to us, so let's shoot him first. 25. And let's just wait here in the door and see if we can... Oh yeah, I managed to actually speed up the combat. So, everything is moving faster now. Ow. Ow. Okay. Bad decision to move over here. Very bad decision. Uh, let's just quickly load that again. And then unless I can somehow kill that guy in one shot, then I don't think we have much of a chance with him. Um, okay, a lesson in humility. It has been delivered. Alright. Instead, let's go up here and see if this guy is actually selling any um, energy weapon ammunition, because I believe that he did. Gunrunners in the boneyard have a lot of punch, apparently. Uh, okay, let's see what he has. Now, remember that this guy had a lot of different stuff, at least, so... Sniper rifles... He has small energy cells for plasma pistol, and he has combat armor, which I don't think we can afford yet. Super sledge, that's a nice one. 23,000, yeah, we don't have that. However, we do have enough for a bit of this, I believe. 5,000, oh, damn. Okay, ammunition is expensive. How about half that? That's enough to at least, like, allow us to use it. I don't know how good my barter skill is. Um, so me it, whether we have to actually match him... Uh, quite, I do believe we, we might have to. And then basically the barter just decreases the price that they ask for stuff. I'm not sure enough to invest the points into it. I, I don't doubt that it's actually working somehow, but I just don't know how it's working, so... That's my issue. But at least we have a bit more ammunition for a plasma pistol now, which allows us to use that. Now, we could either... Let's see, what day is it today? It's the month. It's the 4th, so there was a caravan going out yesterday. That's pretty piss poor timing for me. So instead, what we'll do is um, head on over to the Glow and try to complete the quest we had for the Brotherhood. Because if we can get in with the Brotherhood, then we have access to all the energy weapons that we could ever need. So, let's quickly... That's the quick save slot. And then let's... Um, just quickly equip my weapons, probably. Out here they won't bother anyone. And then go to... Actually, let's go down here first and see... That's kind of on the way, the glow is further south. I think this might be the boneyard. Yeah, boneyard. Los Angeles. Okay, let's... Well, let's just do that then. Put our weapons away. Now let's see, that's the world map, that's somewhere else, and down here there's a bunch of... stuff, I guess. Fence village patrolled by guards waits wait defiantly to the south. There's a guy standing in there, a large muscular man. He's empty. It looks, it looks like a shop. 
That's a good name. Smitty. Um, okay. Okay, so he doesn't actually sell anything in here even though it looks like a shop. Let's see. There's a thin man and a white smack. And there's a bunch of stuff in there. Let's, what, what does this guy want? A Miles. He's a chemist. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they... Yeah. He and Smitty makes bullets or refills the brass casings from bullets with new stuff and in edit trade it for food. And their hydroponic farms are broken. Who the hell is Samael? I really don't know. What's down here? Oh, th those are the hydroponic gardens, I guess. No, mushroom farms. Oh. Is that something? No. Okay, so that's not actually a lot. Doesn't appear to be anything down there at all. No, but who is Samael? Eighty Town. Let's just come out for all of them. And there are guards as well. What's inside the tent? Grudgy man. Oh, okay, that's Samuel. So, what do you do here? He's a scavenger. Um, so there's Defos. Well, I can't speak. Defos somewhere. Okay, so. So supposedly, um, they sent some guy in to get the parts for Miles, um... There was a guy in there with a guard. Um, uh, who apparently got ripped apart by the, um, the death claw somewhere up in, in the boneyard. It's the mayor of this town. Hmm... Yeah, I have to look with a few. The blades are the worst of them all, I'm afraid. Humble God fearing down. Pray on us. So they sneak in. Okay, so now apparently we also have a quest to kill the lead of the blades, and Ian is standing in the doorway again. Beautiful. Alright, let's um, quick save and then head in here and see where that takes us. Hopefully not directly into Deathclaw country. No, it takes us straight into the Apparently, the lead of the blades, or the, the place with the blades. Can you tell me about the blades? Okay, so these are the blades, apparently. And that must be the leader. Can we just walk in here? It appears we can, okay. So... Gang, we're hardly the gang. You look like gang to me. <laughs> Fed yourself from who? The gun runners. Uh, 
so the regulators and these blades are kind of I don't know what the why the hell I just agreed to that but it it to be honest to me this doesn't look like a vicious gang of bloodthirsty killers um but the other hand on the other hand the village down south didn't either so um kind of torn here I think if we're going for death uh, to be encountering death claws then I want the best possible weapons in my arsenal ready I don't doubt that if I if I'm not able to like cripple or kill them pretty soon then um, I won't last many turns against them yeah there are definitely death claws in there let's just quick save before we go anywhere and then go and very carefully have a look at these guys it appears there are two of them upstairs at least three of them anything in here shotgun ammo we don't need that we're not using shotguns and nothing there I guess that's the guy who maybe had the parts for for um, the hydroponic gardens can we shoot him from here yeah we can let's try it not bad not bad at all Okay, they have pretty damn good sequence. But let's see, that guy is severely wounded. And even so, that's not enough to kill him. And Ian can't hit. And now he stabs. That's not gonna do much. Alright, we're getting eaten by Death Claws. Brilliant. I'm gonna hope that Ian kills the other one there, and then I'm gonna try and see if I can blind this one. Oh, 150 damage! See, that's why I like energy weapons. But since we have ammo for the other one here... Let's see if we can do something with this. Okay, that guy... Okay, maybe it was that one I had damaged before. Because this one, this guy is pretty, pretty healthy. Come on, Ian, use your pistol already. I'm in trouble. Maybe. Gonna have to try and blast him. Oh, that's a nice one. When he's knocked down, then Ian has a chance of actually doing damage if he would use his pistol. One hit point there, one hit point there. You don't have enough action points to use your inventory. Okay, come on, dog meat. Just kill him already. Or Ian, for that matter. I'm just making him fart. But since we have 95 chance to hit in the eyes, then we're just gonna keep doing that. Boom! Too fast an experience for killing two death claws. I can live with that. And apparently Ian has learned some new tricks. Draw your best weapon. Prefer ranged combat. There we go. Now we need to level up. Energy weapons we have at a hundred percent. Um how expensive is it to increase it a bit past this? Let's go 120 for now. Doctor, um, with killing death claws, I think we're gonna need to heal up quite a bit. Outdoors man, let's put it to 20 just. Just to get some nice round values whenever we can. And science, there we go. And let's doctor ourselves just a bit. Five hit points. Can we get a couple more? Another 10, and if we could get like another 8, then I think we are max health. Ah, 4, that'll do. Okay, so there's a merchant here, he has the junk, I'm guessing those are the parts. 
and I just quick save, so let's deal with this guy. Oh, at this range with a pistol, we can actually hit him in the eyes. Not bad. And he's shooting now, so he's actually doing some damage. One hit point, feel the pain. Let's see if we can short with this guy. 65 damage. Surprised he's not hitting me. Ow. 12 hit points, nasty. Nasty, nasty. How he's severely wounded. Ninety damage and he's still not dead. Another fifteen. There we go. Thousand experience for that. No loot on them, of course. Um let's just quickly use a stim pack. I think I've taxed my doctor ability for now. Save game and then I'm probably gonna regret going down here. That's why I saved the game. Ooh, that's the mother death claw. I think she's she's probably key to the quest. So I'm gonna use another stim pack here. And then we'll save the game. It would appear that she's alone. Sixteen damage, that's not really a lot of damage considering that I'm using my big laser rifle. The one that did uh, like 150 damage on a crit just before. So hopefully she's not doing too much damage either. Let's see if we can get a hit in the eyes here, close range. Another 50. Why can't we crit? I really love crit against this gal. Oh come on! Stop drawing your knife all the time. And this is hurting quite badly. I'm dead. Yeah. Okay, so Mother Deathclaw, if we don't get a crit on her, then we're pretty screwed. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Anything we can try? We don't have any luck tablets or anything. Let's just shoot her normally with this one while she's close to distance. Nope. I think the plasma one here might have slightly higher, like, um, sure, the gore. Oh, come on! I think this one might have a bit more armor penetration. Um, we'll see. Fourteen damage. And she's look she just looks wounded. Not really doing so well this time either. But at least I'm getting sequence again quickly. Alright, time to bring out the big guns. Eyes, come on. Blind her. 164 hit points. Massive damage to the eyes. Okay, she's blind now. I'm just gonna keep moving a bit. It might cost her just enough action points that she can't attack me for three times. Oh, come on! Ah, blast it. I'm getting stubborn now. I mean, if I can crit for 164 damage, that means I have a chance. Do I have any chems or something I can take? Buff out. Strength and reflexes, so that might give some armor class. Uh, bup, bup, bup. That won't do much. 
I do have some stim packs, so I, I guess I just need to start using them. Eight hit points, come on. That's the big gun. We're supposed to do more damage than that. Another eight hit points. Yeah, this one's going to hell in a handbasket immediately. She has those three hits every single time, and it's just not. Yeah, let's... Let's just load immediately. Okay, keep, we keep trying. 19 damage on this range. Okay, we're at close range. Bring out the big guns. Eyes, come on. 123 damage. Not bad. We still have 50 hit points, so that's decent. If she doesn't do a lot of damage to us now, I might actually quick save here in the combat. But that 24 hit was quite nasty. But yeah, I'm actually gonna quick save now. And then we're gonna use a couple of stim packs. And a normal blast with the plasma pistol here. She really has a lot of knockback. Ow, 18 damage. Another 4 damage. I could really do with another crit here. This, this mother death claw just has so much health. I'm fairly certain if I don't... Oh, I'm actually getting a second sequence here. There we go! Cut in half! 156 damage to the eyes and apparently that cuts her in half at the middle. Talk to herself if we haven't... we're too tired, okay. Let's... I think we're gonna grab our Desert Eagle for this because we need to kill all these eggs as well. So quick save because the mother's dead. Can't talk to the egg. So I think we need we do need to kill them. There we go. Okay, 20 experience for that. Not a lot. Any loot around here? Not seeing anything on the ground. I'm not really seeing any chests either. Containers, whatever. No, that's just trash. Well... And let's head upstairs and hopefully there aren't five death claws waiting for us. Nope. Okay, back and hand in the kill death claws quest then because I do believe that we just defeated that. I really wasn't expecting us to be able to do that, but after the those first. But then again, we couldn't do it again because now we have no more ammo for the the big laser gun laser gun. And they don't seem to be stopping me even though I'm Wielding a weapon. Um. Okay, so that actually maybe wasn't the kill death last quest. Maybe that's the gun runners. I don't know. Maybe it's the regulators. Um, but this episode is already running a bit long with the epic fight there, so I'm gonna call it here. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the content, and I'll see you next time. I'm Jerry, and this has been Fallout. Bye.